Hello, hello everybody. Hello, hello. I'm live, live. He's alive. Um, right, okay. So tonight we are, do you know what? I'm absolutely blinking roasting. I am. Too hot for me. It's too hot for dogs. It is. Uh, right, okay. So let's get on my stream, see who's here, if anybody at all, on this beautiful Saturday evening in the UK. In Cornwall, two people watching now. Hello, everybody, and uh, whoever else may turn up shortly. <laughs> and today we are taking a look at Synthscape LE, which has just had its new um, update. Well, it's not an update, actually. It's just a new free sound pack. Excuse me. It's a new free sound pack. Hi, Marcus. Hi, Stephen. Um, this has got, like, a new free sound pack. It's not an update. Um, the developer posts the... Um, hi, Punk. Um, the developer posts the update on his website. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can get this new. It's the Polytron 800 sound pack. And uh, if you want the Polytron 800 sound pack and you want it either in this or to be loaded into Synthscape, uh, the, the main synth sort of, or sort of thing, um, which you just go and see it's there in groups. If we look at groups here, uh, we can go scenes by groups and you'll see the Mobile Safari Polytron 800. There's 17 new scenes in there for you to play with. And you get them from his website, which is... Uh, no, that's the App Store, Doug, you fool. Uh, his website, which is motionsoundscape.blogspot.com. So that's the website, motionsoundscape.blogspot.com. And this is, you'll see Synthscape, but you want to be going down here, down here, just to be low where he's done a, a demo video for them. And then you, where it says scenes, pack, file, and then it tells you how you can download them. Uh, but if you're on your iPad, it's super simple. And hi, Colin. And it, you just go like this. You just tap it like that. And then it'll load up another screen. Will it, Doug? Well, it should do. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it is doing it. It just takes a little bit of time. Anyway, in a sec, we'll get the screen where it shows you. Yeah, you can export into opening. Or maybe because I've already got them. Oh, there you go. So you can choose to open in uh, Synthscaper LE, or you can go more and you can find Synthscaper, uh, uh, Synthscaper, the ordinary version. You can open it in both, it's absolutely fine. And then you'll have them uh, installed for you to uh, play around with. So I'm choosing Synthscaper LE, which is kind of just the, the preset version. However, the difference is Synthscaper LE is a UV3. Um, so, you know, you can still do some loads of cool stuff uh, with it. We can go full screen if we want to. What we don't get is that nice sort of... Um, I don't think so, Punk. Um, I don't think he will. I'm not sure. Doesn't come to many of the live streams, Jacob, doesn't. But he's probably busy. Um, <clears throat> so, here is one of the sounds. Like this. is really nice so as I'm demoing some of the sounds I think I shall build up a bit of a soundscape inside <clears throat> Cubasis I think the, the I think the weather's affecting me uh, you, you know like um, me, not, me I'm all bunged up and everything it's <laughs> it's great yeah it's lovely yeah I'm playing this via MIDI. Hi, Marcus. It's, hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Oh, hi, Tony. How you doing? Uh, Sean's here as well. Right, okay. It's Joshua. Right, okay. So um, just for fun, everybody, I'm not going to record with any sort of metronome because we're going to do some sort of soundscapey thing whilst we're playing with the presets, the, uh, the, um, the, you know, the new sound and the Polytron 800 pack, which you can go and grab for free. So we'll just start this to record, shall we? I'll just press play. 
Um, <clears throat> I'll just press play and record, and then I'll I'll hit this A here just for fun. So it's great for this kind of experimental soundscaping, lush texturing thing we've got going on. But you can see it's quite juicy on the old CPU. Lovely. Don't need to do anything else with that just yet. Hey, Dean. It's going to sound even cooler, Tom. Even cooler. <laughs> okay, so I shall I shall leave it at that. Let that end. And you'll see that all we will have is a MIDI note. Well, because it's quite juicy and quite thingy, what we shall do initially is just freeze this track off. And then we don't have to be worrying about our CPU. I don't need to be worrying about doing anything to that particular track. Uh, EQ wise and stuff like that. So there you go. There it is. Right. So <clears throat> it's putting some sort of massive long uh, tail there. We don't need that neither. So who knows? Sometimes it does that, you know. So that's cool. So we can what we can do now is I'll just I think um, I can now unfreeze this here. OK. And then we can change the sound. I can get rid of the actual uh, mi Oh, actually, no, I'll get rid of the MIDI now because I might want to play a different one, might I? And then we can go and have a look at this different sounds. OK, so I shall mute this so we can hear. There's our sound back again. I shall mute that and we can just choose a different sound. So these are the sounds in the group. Uh, you've got atmos atmosphere cycloid. Uh, and we'll just set the scene there. That's how you get it to load. it's fabulously cool for <clears throat> it's fabulously cool for doing stuff like does the developers contact you to demo all these apps yes they do punk <laughs> they send me the codes and i demo the apps Although he hasn't asked me to demo this one, but since it's had an update, you know, I thought I would. Right, so that's a nice sound. So let's have a listen to another one. I want something a little bit different. Here's something that's a little bit more conventional. So he's capable of... Um, well, completely ordinary, cool sounding sounds as well. Cool beans. Uh, let's try a different sound. Electric pipe, electro pipe organ. Oh, here you go. I think that's going to go lovely at some point in our track. Listen. I'll show you some other very cool stuff you can do, even with Synthscape at LA in a sec as well. You're not, you know, because it's like an AUV3 as well. Well, well. So let me just have a quick look at something, right? Um, if I go to my mix down settings, I'll go to mix down settings. There's some, there's some stuff you can do with uh, Cubase now that makes mix down a little bit simpler and a little bit easier. So say for instance, I was ready to mix down that track and I was going to mix down. 
And if I create mix down, I'm going to not include effects trail. And I'm just going to leave it like that for now. OK, so go back to projects and I'm going to go to setup. I'm going to go to mix down and share and I'm going to use track freeze to use mix down settings. Boink, like this. And now, hopefully, theoretically, um, we might get a shorter tail, but it's it's hard to tell. It doesn't really make any difference, you know. But you know, I think uh, yeah, you know, we'll we might have play a bit of black hole on there, some of these in a sec, or especially when I've frozen them because I don't want to. Got to be careful of your CPU, folks. You know what I mean? Right, so. I'm thinking the let's see what happens when we unmute this and have a have a have a record with that. So I can just start it now I was just play it. Not using a metronome. So there's our initial track. So we can stop that now. And I shall do the same with this. I shall freeze this now. Yes. And it's definitely completely messed that up, hasn't it? Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to... Right. I'm not kidding. Right. It erase that. Unfreeze that. I'm, oh, do you know what it is? Because I'm... Yeah. Got to be between the locators, folks. Right. That's one of the things. Uh, right, okay, so I am now going to freeze this again and it will freeze between the locators. Get rid of that track because it will just do it again for us anyway. Let's go like this. Much better. Gosh, look how off that was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So now we should be able to get rid... We can unfreeze this again because I want to, you know, keep using the actual synth but not increase my... CPU. Hopefully this would sound okay. Yeah, let's put some let's put some black hole reverb on that one. I'll let you cue this one in a sec. So we'll go insert effects here and we'll go top audio units to go and find black hole, black hole. Uh, is, and should put that there. And there's a, I know there's one that's going to work particularly well, which is biggest reverb ever. Be ever. Biggest reverb ever. So we can just have a listen, actually, see how that sounds. And I will actually, with this one as well, switch on my studio EQ and ramp up the bass a little bit around there. I knew this is going to sound okay, so... No, no, I don't need to use compatibility mode. It's fine. It, it freezes the AU fine. I, I just had it set wrong. Right, the key to get not having that great big long effects trail is in settings, set your track freeze, uses mix down settings, switch that on, and then go to your mix down settings, uh, like here, where it says mix down, and hit create mix down just to bring them up. Set mix down between locators, 
and then it will it will freeze between the locators as well. So that's the cool way to do it, I think, and probably a little thumpable. Right, so okay, so we can let's let's just we can solo this one now and have a look at some more of these high loaded pad. Let's see. Hello, Derek. So let's let's go to the next one. Very cool. So what we can do. We've got like uh, let's try and find a sound that I quite. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah. So you've got actually you've got three generators. So you've got three oscillators for each uh, instance of synthscaper either the le or the actual mm, proper one so we can if we want to now we can add another sound to our noisy ping pong which i'm going to use in that little soundscapey thing so let's we can see which one that's been used is Gen 2 here, it's generated 2, so we can choose init. And there's nothing, if, if we get out of, let's go back to the mix. If we if we mute this now, these, they don't have like a, 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 a sawtooth or a basic, there's nothing there. That, uh, you know, and in the actual main synth, which is incredible. Uh, you can do all sorts of very, very, very cool stuff. So we could go by presets by group here. Um, I'm not sure. So we can, I think drones might be probably good. So we could go drones and try this one. And we can set the preset by hitting set. Well, that's okay, but it's not really going to work with my... Um, ...thing. Well, it might, though. Yeah, you know what? Actually, my let's uh, let's just see if my idea pans out on this. So we're ready to go. I can just play, and I shall just wait for this. I don't want to come in just yet. So. Mm. I'll see you later, Colin. See you later. Bye. Thanks for coming along. Do I still fade now? <laughs> yeah. 
Has Colin gone now? Oh, we'll stick this on the next album. It'll freak him out. <laughs> um, right, so we've got that now there. So we'll do this. Uh, so I'm locating between me two. Me two what's it? So... Good. Um, I'm going to just make sure I'm located there. I know we can do the same thing again. I can just mix down that particular track. Uh, no, sorry, freeze it. So, And it should freeze fine. I'm going to fade the end of it anyway because I didn't like them three plonks that I did when it finished sort of thing. <clears throat> oh, brilliant. Epic stuff. Right, so also right near the end here, I did some plinky plonky. That here. Oh, actually. That's all right. That'll be fine. Right, so uh, again, we can all freeze that. Okay. So all this you see, and I'm only needing to use the synthscape at once so just keep changing the sound and refreezing it it's it's easier and of course it's more it's more uh, friendly for the cpu we can erase that midi track now and we can solo this again and have a listen um so so that was a mixture of our two sounds there so <clears throat> sound, isn't it? That's great, isn't it? <clears throat> I like that as well.
actually. You can uh, erase that. don't need it to record all that so I can so it doesn't really matter where it starts click will be fine but it might want some uh, might want a bit of bit of tail there. Oh no, I think I was going to fade it out actually, so it doesn't matter. To me blabbing to myself. Uh, right. Okay. <clears throat> Has everyone had a nice day? I think you're not. I'm absolutely roasting here. I'm just absolutely roasting. Okay, so let's sort of freeze that for now. Okay. And boink, get rid of that, and just let's hear what that sounds like when it comes in, sort of thing. Change some colours there. Right, I'm going <clears> to <throat> start to add something else. <clears throat> do, do, do. Where's me? No. <laughs> that doesn't matter actually. Just wanna. <clears throat> right.
Okay. Right, guys, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> so.
So, again. I'm pretty sure that's going to be okay. Hello, everybody. So, there's nothing on telly. It's rubbish. I'm still watching Mash. Although I do, I do, I, 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 I am really enjoying it. Actually, it's fab. Uh, Joe's trying to paint, but it's so hot, isn't it? It's so hot. Is it? I, I'm so hot. I am. A I'm sweating. Sweating. I'm sweating. Right. So, as per normal. We shall uh, unfreeze this again and get rid of that MIDI track, okay? Which is nice, because it keeps our, our recorded one as well. You see, um, whereas it used to get rid of it, <laughs> so it doesn't now. Oh, gosh, I'm warm. Well, uh, where you live, mate, it should be mega hot all the time. Right, okay, so... So, like, yeah, I think that sounds okay at the moment. So, as a thing, it's coming along okay. Um, we shall listen to the rest of the sounds in a second. Let's have a quick listen to this, see what we've got so far. What we need now is some environmental stuff going on. It was so hot, I could barely breathe. Someone dropped a plate on my head. And another one. Classic machines.
Yeah, that's cool. I like that. So I won't record any more. I won't record any more on that now. Um, tonight. So what I shall do now, I think, is take you and show you the actual proper, <clears throat> proper instrument. I did show you how to get it at the beginning, didn't I? So that's nice. So here is Synthscaper Ellie with the nice, super cool keyboard. And I'm on the Poly 800 um, group as well, like this. It's not clipping, by the way, that's the preset. <laughs> Do you know what we'll have to do? We'll have to do what what's the what's the one? Um soundscaper? Oh that's a cool sound. So yeah, you don't get loads and loads, but they are free. Uh, you have to, if you go into the main, you have to set the scene. However, don't forget that uh, there are a gazillion other. Um, that's just one. That's just the new. I mean, we've got instruments, we've got drones, we've got soundscapes, we've got synth keys. So, for instance, in soundscapes, we've got like a. Oh no, we have to set the scene, remember? Synthscaper, that's it, feelscaper. In a minute, let me turn the volume up on that bad boy a bit. Oh, hang on, I need to. I can, I'm continually drinking. It's just, I just it's. I'm so hot. Wish I had air conditioning. No, but then I'd be so dry. <laughs> right. Let's see. Again, going for my C. To a B, then C, then to D. Oh, that's epic! So what did I say? So going from C. So I'll do octaves, eh? Then go to a B. C. I think it sounds a lot better with the with the like uh, MP kind of slidey thing. <laughs> 
funny thing is, I have the other one. What? Well, yeah, dude. Well, no, that's you don't. The other one, it's the same. <clears throat> it's the. It's got. You can put the same pack in it. This one's the real, the powerhouse one. The one that you can program the the epic, the epic thing. If if uh, if we go into um, there's our groups again, and there's our mobile safari Polytron eight hundred, four. And here's our, um, actually I'm on the wrong, what's it here? Um, there's our sounds. The only difference is that this isn't an AUV3, it's interrupt audio and everything. And, and this has got all the, this has got all the power. This has got, you. as you well, you know, this has got all the programming capability. Whereas the LE is basically just the presets where you can do a little bit of, messing around but with this one you've got all the uh uh what's it happening i don't know i can't I'm, I'm useless with this thing in i'm i'm only good with doing the uh thingies uh set that and how do i get off the thing <laughs> up no i don't don't matter anyway but you can do all the what's it with this can't you the uh how do i get off the thing Anyway, whatever. Anyway, the thing is, uh, but you just download them exactly the same, and you can open up the new pack in in this one or the LE. The only difference is that this is interrupt audio, not uh, AUV3. The LE is. I, d I mean, I'm pretty sure you could make new patches in this, stick them in the LE one as well. <clears throat> I mean, you definitely could. So, right to you guys. There you go. I've got a minute. I'll just stop up now. I've got to, I've got to stop. There is a blast through the new, uh, well, the new, um, what's it be called? The poly... How is it that I get close? <clears throat> there you go. This is where you can control all the oscillators and everything. You've got tons and tons of. It's super complicated, guys. Super complicated. There's only one or two people in the whole entire universe that know how to program the beast. Anyway, so with this one, you can uh, do all the same stuff, but a heck of a lot more. But yes, we can go search by groups, and there we are, and then we've got all our. Our sounds, we just remember to have to press set like this and then. And we can do the stacky thing as well and all the rest of it. I think you see this with this one again, uh, oscillator um, one and oscillator three are empty. So you can go in and choose your new sounds and stuff like this. So there you go. Uh, it's put all the people's music. The song grows. Oh, he's done about. Um, what's it called? Is that the collaborator? I'm the worst collaborator in the world, maybe with things like that. Brilliant. Top job. Awesome. Cool beans, guys. Thank you very, very much for joining me this Saturday evening in hot Cornwall in the UK. I have no idea what we shall do tomorrow, but I really want to do one where we just talk about the music that we love. You know, records or CDs or just music uh, that we all like so we can just uh, chew the fat one evening and just say, hey, you know, I really love this. It was a massive influence on my life and you know, that kind of thing. And everyone can bring their own kind of, uh, you know, artists to the table that we can talk about and stuff like that. So it's brilliant. I think, yeah, I think that would be really cool as well. I was talking about this last week when we were doing uh, one of the music uh, streamy things. I suppose I could even play some background music, you know, really quietly. <laughs> not not other people's though. Ooh, no, 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 no. That would be terrible. So if anybody, cheers for doing another great thing. Well, Stephen, I'm trying to do the meet tonight. I'm trying. 
I mean, obviously, there'll be some nights where I just don't feel up to it. I nearly didn't tonight, actually. I really wanted to do this. Um, I was just... It's only... It's the heat. It's the heat. <laughs> I can't cope with the heat. Do it tomorrow. Do what tomorrow? Oh, do that what the music one tomorrow. Joke on Amy. I don't think she could... Eh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we'll do it tomorrow. We could do that one tomorrow, yeah, because then I don't have to think about doing an app. Uh, so I'll tell you what we'll do tomorrow. Yes, uh, uh, same, at the same time slot, I guess, Joe? B... I think it's, I think eight o'clock's okay, isn't it? Eight o'clock, same time slot, I suppose. Um, I don't really know if this time slot is. See, the thing is, going from nine till ten, it's a little bit late for me. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I mean, iOS Tom, this looks pretty complicated. No, this is this is complicated, <laughs> Tom. This is, but you'll get a lot out of it. But if you get the LE version, and the LE version is an AUV three. You get all the sounds and the cool stuff. We just don't. You can do a little bit of programming. It's two p.m. here at that time. Well, okay. Then that's if that if that's okay with you guys. And it's Sunday. I guess a lot, quite a few people in the US will be um, at home as well. Um, but some people turn up, I suppose. Well, we'll do it at eight o'clock. And I'll bring up some of my rec. I can't play them, but I can bring you up and show some of my vinyl and stuff. My beloved vinyl. Yes, uh, I haven't got a lot of it now, but uh, what I have got, I love. Yes, so, but I like all sorts of stuff. Ma music's massive influence in my life, obviously, and, and yours as well, I would imagine. So it'd be nice to talk about that, I think. Yeah, we can chew the fat for an hour tomorrow night doing that, can't we? I'll start at eight o'clock. Who knows what time it'll go on till? <gasps> Who knows? Anyway, guys. Um, you know how I love the vinyl. Oh yes, yes. Well, you might not love my vinyl, Tony, but uh, you know, I can't. You know, I mean, if I, if I, you know, me have a collection and me steps and stuff like that, and you know, me Spice Girls and things. You know, I can't. You know, I am joking, by the way. Please do not take what I just said in any seriousness. Right? No, Joe. No. Well, yes. Lo there's loads of prog, <laughs> loads and loads. But I love Springsteen. And people are like that, you know. I, I I love Springsteen's early stuff. I I love the really early Springsteen. Anything from like um, Asbury Park up to about mm, Darkness at the Edge of Town, Darkness on the Edge of Town, on the Edge of Town. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah, my favourite albums are brilliant. I think it kind of went a bit, a little bit commercial. Still good though. He's still a genius, any but. That's my kind of thing. But there's so much, I listen to so much different types of music that, you know, so it should be interesting, but it would be really interesting to know what you all listen to too. Okay, so we'll do that tomorrow, uh, eight o'clock. And uh, yeah, yeah, and we'll, we'll get back to, we'll get back to normal app. Well, unless I pop in in the afternoon and do summer. I want to put some bass guitar on me track that I was doing the other day. Um, so we might do that in the afternoon if I get get time, sort of things. Yeah, well, so I like a lot of UK bands as well, but I like bands from everywhere. It doesn't matter where they're from, as far as I'm concerned. You know, as long as I enjoy the music, I like a lot of classical stuff. Oh, we're talking about it now. Let's do. Let's do. It. We'll do it tomorrow. Listen, guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you very, very much, everybody who joined the stream tonight to look at uh, Synthscaper LE. It is good fun. If you haven't already struck the like, please, please, please strike it now and <laughs> before you go. And uh, thank you very much indeed for sticking around for another live stream. Yes, yes, ta-ta.